I'm going to start by giving you five things that I have learned from a highly successful people. When people talk and you see what they are saying, you visualize what they are saying. You are a person who will be walking in revelation. The difference between successful people and failures in life is that failures are quick to give up. Successful people do daily what unsuccessful people do occasionally. They take action every single day. Successful people get rejected. If you don't have people opposing you, then you must also know that you have no drive or push to work on yourself to be perfect. Criticism sometimes helps you to perfect your skill. And this is something that I want you to know. Successful people don't eat in the morning. Hello viewers. Welcome to this um, special edition of a real life revelation. And I'm not going to be focusing so much in scriptures, but I want to give you a step-by-step -step method on how you can learn from people that you have met in this life. I'm going to start by giving you five things that I have learned from a highly successful people. By looking at them, hearing from them, and by seeing them executing their daily duties. One thing that you do have to know is that when you do everything that a successful person does, you can become as successful as that person. Success is not mysterious. Success has formulas. If you are able to follow the formula for prospering, then you can get similar results with those that have prospered. Never fool yourself thinking that you can become rich overnight because you wish to become rich. They say if wishes were horses, beggars would ride. Wishful thinking that says, someday I'll buy a car, someday I'll open my company, someday I'm going to build a house, someday I'll fly to, to Europe, to America, I'll fly to Africa, and I'm going to establish myself. Without doing anything, you must know that your wishes will never materialize. There are things that I have observed high performers and successful people doing. And I think I caught a revelation from observing how they do their things. And I want to share this. As I'll be sharing, it may be a point for you to catch a revelation. If you read the book of Habakkuk, chapter number two and verse number one, the Bible says, the watcher, okay, let me read this scripture for you. Habakkuk, chapter number two and we are going to read on verse number, number one. I will stand upon my watch and set 
me upon the tower and I will watch to see what he will say unto me. What I shall answer when I am reproved. What is key or critical on this scripture is what the watcher is saying. He is saying, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. I will watch to see what he will say unto me. And I think you appreciate that when somebody speaks, we hear, we don't see. But when the watcher says, I will wait to see what he will say, it means that he is not just hearing, but catching a revelation. Seeing what is said is the ability of catching a revelation. When people talk and you see what they are saying, you visualize what they are saying. You are a person who will be walking in revelation. So as I am going to bring this to your attention, may your eyes be opened and may you be able to catch this kind of revelation. The first thing, I've seen that successful people do what they had to do before they become what they want to become. I should repeat this. Successful people, they do what they hate to do for them to become what they want to become. I'll tell you whether it's about making money, getting in shape physically. If you ask people who have made money and people that have been able to shape their bodies in the way they want, build muscle, trim, become toned and flexible, they will tell you that we were not so keen and interested in the push-ups, in the baby, we were not so interested in lifting heavy weights. But we would wake up every morning to do what we had to do for us to become what we would want to become. In a way or the other, I, I don't know if they are men of God like me who can come out and say, we really enjoy fasting. Fasting is a discipline. It's painful to the body. Abstaining from food, the body starts to freak out. A lot of things happens in the process. But what keeps a man going back to the fast is the reward that he wants to get after the fast. Not that they enjoy the fasting but that they would want to become somebody after doing what they hate to do. So the difference between successful people and failures in life is that failures are quick to give up. They don't have the discipline to do what they hate to do. It's not easy to read. It's not easy to study. But you have to discipline yourself and consistently do what you hate to do for you to become who you would want to become. So the first thing that I think makes great people, the first thing that I think greatness does is to discipline itself in the way of doing things that individuals hate to do until they become who they would want to become. It's not easy to score high grades at school. You have to spend hours and hours glued to your book 
and getting a number of researches. By so doing, you are forsaking some other things. Your opportunity cost will be very high. But when you do that, there is also a high price that you will pay with your life, with your time, with your resources. But at the end of it, your reward is also great. So successful people do what they hate to do first before they become who they want to become. The second thing is that they take action every single day in the direction of their goals. You should be able to do one thing a day towards your goal. You may not be able to achieve your goal overnight or in a single day, but doing something each day towards achieving your goal may help you to become who you would want to become eventually. They say successful people do daily what unsuccessful people do occasionally. So, this is one discipline we have seen many successful people doing in any area or discipline of life, be it spiritual, be it academic, be it sport. They do something every day towards their goal. That discipline is required for people to be successful. It may be difficult for you to eat a whole loaf of bread, but it may become easy for you to consume a loaf of bread over a period of time in a single day. But you may slice it into pieces and you consume maybe four pieces at a certain time and the other four pieces. If it has 16 pieces, you may be able to consume these 16 pieces in four periods and you are done. But it may be difficult for you in one sitting to consume an entire loaf of bread. So you have to know that goals are difficult to achieve. And most unsuccessful people, they beat themselves so hard and they want to achieve their goals in one instant. Even if they want to save money, they want to save a whole lot of money at one go. Successful people are able to slice up their savings over a long period of time and they are able to put away money and they are able to progress and live comfortably while they are saving, while they are spending, while they are investing and while they are giving. And after a certain period of time, they would have put aside a lot of money and they become very successful. So if you want to succeed, do something daily towards achieving your goal. The third thing that I would want to share, something that I have been seeing successful people doing, is that successful people get rejected, but they have the faith to come back. Most of the times, very, very successful people will tell you of their stories. When they start out their journey for success. They would go before successful people and they would present their ideas and maybe because their ideas will be not common or consistent with conventional education or the normal success path, they are oftenly put aside. I was listening to one of uh, the documentaries of musician. There is a brother called Soli Matlam. 
There is a time when he became the best gospel artist in South Africa. And when they were asking him for how long he has been singing, he mentioned quite a, a very long period of time. And he said, when I started and I went to the studio, because I was singing with a very high pitch, my voice, when I'm leading is a high pitch or not, uh, whatever they call it in music. He said, they told me, you know, those um, studio workers, those people that will be recording and working on, uh, on the music, they told him that your voice is not an artist's voice. But think of it, the same voice. He worked on it and he came back several years later. And for a number of years, he was receiving gospel music awards. And the world knows of him. Why? Because he had the ability and the faith to come back after he was rejected. This is very true to so many people who have been rejected and they had the faith to come back. And when they came back, they then exhibited a great skill, great capacity that the world would pay attention to them. Whenever a person is rejected, one thing that you have to know is that you are refined through these rejections, these criticisms, and these oppositions. If you don't have people opposing you, then you must also know that you have no drive or push to work on yourself to be perfect. Criticism sometimes helps you to perfect your skill. When people oppose you, you can self-introspect and look around yourself and you will start to try to improve yourself. Starting with those things that are trivial, going to those things that are big. And when you do that, you become a better person in your trade. So, if people right now are telling you that you cannot be what you want to become, you must know that this is a setup for a better comeback. When you come back, you'll be 10 times better. Have this in yourself that you will not fail. You will definitely succeed and you make it. The fourth thing that I want you to know is that successful people have a natural ability to delay rewarding themselves. Successful people they have a natural ability to delay rewarding themselves. There is a scripture in the book of Ecclesiastes that tells us that a nation which is a king who is childish is in trouble. A nation that has princes that eat in the morning is in trouble. And it goes on to say, only people that are wise eat enough for them to work. This is something that is very profound. Unsuccessful people, they reward themselves too early. They eat in the morning. They quickly give themselves comfort from the little profit and revenue they make. Have you seen that successful people, they keep on retaining profits and reinvesting the profits they make? And when they do so, it becomes easy for them to expand their business empire. 
it becomes easy for them to grow their equipment base. But when a business is run by a person who is unsuccessful, the little profit, the little revenue, he wants to buy another car. And this vehicle may not be usable in the type of business that the person is doing. A person may want to buy some expensive uh, you know, labels of clothes too early in the morning. A person may want to go out and eat in expensive restaurants too early in the morning before a person has established a strong base and a number of streams of income. A person rewards himself too early. But successful people have one thing in common. They are able to delay rewarding themselves. And this is something that I want you to know. Successful people don't eat in the morning. Even when God blesses them early, they have this natural ability to delay rewarding themselves. And they can wait and they can become strong financially and they can build their capital base, buy equipment, improve, expand before they start to reward themselves. If you find yourself having this ability for delaying self-gratification, then you can become a successful person. There is a scripture that is very interesting in the book of Romans. The Bible says our present suffering is not worth being compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us in the future. And I like this. Sometimes you have to punish yourself. Sometimes you have to delay rewarding yourself. But in the future, you will live a glorious life full of pleasures and excitement. The fifth thing is that Successful people have a unique way of connecting with people. They are not only good communicators. They go beyond the level of communicating to the level of connecting with people. When they connect, they are also able to retain relationships with people they have connected with. By so doing, they build a large network of relationships and they will be having contacts of people almost in every need of their life and they keep these very active. They communicate consistently and they will be having a working relationship with these people. And it will become easier for them because when they have a social network which is working, it becomes easy for them to multiply the effect of their impact through the people they have connected with. I want to come back and speak on the art of connecting with people and particularly significant people. God bless you.